Hi, I'm Ariel and I'm here with Scully Designs for our 365 day project. Today we're going to make some fingerless gloves. And I probably should have done my nails, but I didn't have time, so I do apologize. But let's get started. For this project we're going to need some cardboard or paper to make our pattern on and a marking pen to do so, a pair of scissors, some fleece fabric, now I had a half yard here, but really a quarter yard would be more than sufficient for one pair. I was planning on making a few pairs. Some pins to pin it together. Some sidewalk chalk to mark it up. A ruler so that you can mark around. And I just like my mat sometimes to help me cut along. Of course, you also need a sewing machine or needle and thread if you choose to sew by hand. All right. Let's get started. To make our pattern, we're going to put our, our arm across, and I'm just going to start, we're going to go from our knuckles down, and I'm going to spread them out so that I have more room. The chalk's not going to help me here. Um, I'm going to take our marking pen, and I'm going to follow around. I'm just going to leave it open there at my thumb, and come back down, go down the side of my arm, Come back up on the other side and go all the way up. So right now, I just have, from my knuckles, straight down. Draw a straight line across my thumb there, so we're good. Now I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to go around and I'm going to make another pattern around this an inch all the way around, which will account for our seams when we do our seams. So I'm just going to mark some spots here. If you want to be real exact, you can take the ruler and be um, more exact. I tend to run more on the wild side and just wing it until I screw up several times and then I get more accurate if I keep screwing up. Because some people just have to learn the hard way. Apparently that's me. So I'm going to measure this. Almost got it all the way around an inch. And I am going to bring it down and connect my marks all the way there. Bring this. Just kind of make a little arch there. Bring this down and go all the way down. So that's kind of my pattern. I'm going to cut it out and when you're putting it onto the fabric, if you want longer gloves, you'll have to account for that on the fabric. I like mine where they're short. These are going to be a little bit shorter as is because we're going to hem um, when we do it. So let me get this all cut out. Cut, cut, cut. Cardboard's a little hard to cut. Get this a little more accurate here. Cut that out for my thumb. Come around to the other side. And then we have our pattern that we're going to use. Now, we just need the one because when we put it on the fabric, we just need the one. When we put it on the fabric, we can just flip it over to get our other hand. So you'll be set. When you put your fabric out, you want it folded over do there's the right side of the fabric and the wrong side so I'm going to do this on the wrong side but I'm going to keep it folded over so that I'm getting both the front and back of one hand one glove when I do it and I am going to leave my inch on the top since I didn't do that that extra inch there and take my chalk and I'm going to go around. Once I get this one done on the fabric with the chalk, I will just simply flip it over, leaving room 
um, to mark and do the same for my other glove. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to draw this pattern out just with my chalk as you see and then flip it over to the other one. I'm going to cut it and then pin the pieces together and I'll meet you over at the sewing machine. All right, once you've gotten your gloves all cut out and ready, you want to pin them on each of the sides and between your forefinger and your thumb. You don't want to pin the openings um, up on the top or the bottom, nor do you want to pin your thumb opening. Now, uh, what I do is I sew a half inch seam allowance all the way around, leaving those openings. And then once that's done, which I've already sewn this other one, then you can go at the bottom and while it's still inside out, sew yourself a half inch hem at the bottom and again at the top, which I still haven't done the top on this one. If you want a little bit longer, like if you made your fabric too long, you can cut it down or hem it more. So try them on and check first. And then you'll see you have a fabulous, fabulous pair of fingerless gloves. I hope you enjoy this project and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow for our next 365 day project.